Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy XTV. We're gonna be today. We're gonna be discussing how many more rip cords are left, like with the new management uh, at Blizzard. All rip cords are starting to be, uh, you know, thrown out the window, and it looks like Ion isn't making any of these. So I'm happy. I'm glad. We're not waiting for 9.3, 9.3.5, 9.4, 10.0. .9 We're getting them now, so. Did they come late? Maybe. Did they come later than expected? I don't think so. I think um, the player base is kind of excited now. And there are a couple of few things, and I'll discuss them here. And, you know, as you appreciate you all being here. Um, thank you for all your positive comments uh positive messages uh to me I, I really do appreciate it. it makes me feel uh very very welcome and hopefully can create again more content for you guys so we're just gonna like deep deep run through it and i'm just gonna be explaining the stuff that really cares to me um there, there might be some things that everybody else uh likes and hopefully i'll be able to um shed some light for you uh, so let's go 9.1 coming up. We got new customization. I don't have any of these doesn't really matter to me I uh, don't really care about unlocking allied races The only thing I care about is when cross faction comes in I can change to horde because I want to be a tauren hunter That's all it is That's all it is. Just want to be a tauren Why? Because the armor looks better on tauren like a male tauren, all armor looks better because it's bigger. It's all that matters, right? All right, and then the next thing, uh, so all cooldowns two minutes or longer now reset at the end of raid encounters or when starting Mythic Plus Dungeon. Thank God. There are so many times when we do like a crab pull on Nazul or any boss or we're progging Nazul or Soul Render and we get to a point where I press my coordinated assault and then we wipe and it doesn't go off cooldown and we have to wait that 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 that's annoying so but that's a this is a really good change i can't wait to, for that to be put in now the biggest thing the thing that made survival hunter really really good is because of our uncapped aoe but now they've pulled the ripcord on that but it's not really uncapped aoe it's uncapped AOE, but you do less damage from beyond five targets, which is better than zero, right? A lot of people still are like, oh, we want full damage. It should be uncapped, uncapped. But um, this is in a like a better direction, right? Um, people that do transmog runs can just keep running through and pull everything and still kill enemies, and it just buffs a lot of other other specs correctly. So, like I said. What made Survival Hunter is st Survival Hunter still going to be strong, right? Because we're still uncapped AOE. So all like our uncapped AOE damage, like from Wildfire Cluster and Wildfire Bombs, is still going to be uncapped. Um, so I'm ha I'm happy about that. We won't see a, a nerf unless something happens to it. But uh, generally speaking, this is this is good for for all specs. So you got Death Knights. So in the 9.1 develop, developers note, it lists everything. Uh, for Survival Hunter, we got uh, Carve and Butchery. I am so happy for Butchery because I can't wait to play around. I can't wait to play around with Butchery again. Butchery is like one of my favorite spells in the game um, just because of the animation. The animation for me is one of the best in the game. So... Uh, I'll talk about this a bit later, but we have Carve as well and, and Butchery. Uh, and we're going to see how Carve plays out if they're going to uncap, um, reset the bomb. But I think they're going to keep it to like where Elite uh, in BFA still, where Carve was uncapped, but it still only did five seconds maximum. So I think that's going to happen. And you have all these other Hunter, hunter specs here. And this one here, Explosive Shot Talent, is uncapped as well. Uh, I'll talk about these two a little bit down the track. But um, again, all these changes to uncapped question mark 
uncapped AOE, aka less damage beyond five, is is, is really good. It's really good. I'm I'm happy for it. Warriors, like even for warriors, when they blade storm you and you see five numbers come up. Now you can see all numbers come up, which is really really good. I'm happy for that. Like I'm happy for that. Uh, you got some more class changes for Death Knights. Uh, some changes for Demon Hunter Druid. Four new travel form appearances are now available. I wonder what this is. I can't wait for the PTR for them to show it. I love again. I've played my Druid since vanilla, vanilla, and that's always been my like main alt. So I can't wait to see what these new travel form appearances are because Druid, Druid's my 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 OG squeeze. Uh, hunters, so we scroll down to Hunter. Achilleans, corpse flies, and grommets are now teamable as pets. I wonder what they're going to be. If they're going to. Uh, grommets might be endurance, corpse flies, ferocity, Achilleons, cunning, maybe. Or that might be cunning, that might. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. Just gives us more uh, pets that we can tame. So, Flayed Shot Vent here ability now deals an additional hit of damage when cast. This damage also has 15% increased chance to reset the cooldown kill shot. This is going to be uh, pretty good for single target. And I can't wait to be able to mi mix and match things uh, later down the track. Uh, so. Being able to like on one boss use the Venti Legendary because I have I haven't even used the Venti Legendary because I don't have a hunter with the Venti Legendary, so I can't wait to use that. Um, and I'll talk a little again. I'll talk a little bit more later down the track about uh, a couple of things. Got mage, monk, priest. Anything that really cares for me? Not really. And this is the main part here. So in nine point one, this is the main part. Players who reach a renown threshold will be able to freely switch among four covenants without cooldown or restriction. That's awesome. It means we can go Venti, it means we can go Night Fate, it means we can go whatever. You know, uh, especially for Mythic Plus dungeons, we're not going to be going, hey, I need a Night Fate, hey, I need a um, Kyrian, hey, I need Thingy. You can play to like your group strength. So if you have a set five people, you can be like, okay, who can swap? Um, yeah, who can swap between uh, different covenants, and basically just go through it. So, uh, I know, I know, with um, like halls of atonement, you always want to vent here because those uh, the gargoyles do a lot of damage. You can just now freely switch into it. So, I really like this change. I I really can't. A lot of people say it should have been done at this at the start, but again, I'm happy with this is it's going to be a lot more fun. We're going to be doing a lot more. You can do a lot more different type of builds and, and whatnot. Um, next thing, Conduit Energy removed. Very, very good. These ones here, thank fuck. Completing Shadowlands and Corthia, or Corthia Covenant campaign allows any characters to be able to skip it. <laughs> thank God. I hate... I've hated redoing the Night Fate campaign six times. I've hated doing the Vanthi Covenant campaign three times. The Kyrian one, I think it was four times in a row. So, thank God, thank God, and thank God. This is very, very good. Uh, and what else? 9.1. So, Legion Time Walking and Legion Time Walking. Uh, Legion Time Walking and Legion Mythic Plus. It's going to come back, um, but you won't be able to get Legion Mythic Plus from the Great Vault, which is alright, but you can we can spam the dungeons. So for those two weeks, hopefully we'll be able to smash out the uh, Legion Mythic Plus dungeons, which are these ones here. Quarter Stars, Nithal, Nithalians were there. Border Wars, Dark Arctic, Irish Jar, and Black, Black Rookhold, I'll have to... I'll make another video, we'll go through these time walking dungeons and have a look at the gear that we probably want to start farming. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Everything that I want... Oh, no, sorry, last thing, the rune carving here. Rune carving, the rune carver will now offer to destroy existing legendary item, return all soul ash, all soul cinders that were spent on the crafter. Thank God. Now I can um, destroy all my, all, all my crap ones that I don't want and just rebuild them. I'm happy. 
that's fine. Uh, search of fate, yeah, it's fine. Use the interface. Mm. Pretty solid 9.1. So I just wanted to touch more about this covenant ability. I just wanted to touch more about this covenant ability. Um, so it's going to be super fun, super fun to be able to try out all the different legendaries on one character trying different builds on one character so one one of the builds i was when i when i heard about butchery <coughs> being a we uncapped was uh like an, a a necro lord explode since we you won't we're going to be running this and not gorilla tactics so you only have one charger bomb so we're going to go like the birds of Pre the bbb build the um birds of prey with butchery and the other one i've always forget what the other b is yeah alpha, we probably run alpha predator but um on a b is for blur the below town that was in bfa but running butchery and then running the necro lord um covenant legendary that it puts explosive shot on two of the chakrams where i'm hoping that explosive shot is uncapped as well so you have two explosive shot sh explosive shots uncapped because of the change to marksmanship so you have like this really high burst of aoe without bombs and you just have like a different type of build <clears throat> or you could run butchery with the um night fey legendary which just procs all the time when it's five or less targets is it five or less or three or less targets anyone knows drop it down in chat i could i could have a look um or we could even use butchery with the kyrian uh with the kyrian legendary which you gain like extra percent crit there's a whole lot of bunch of things that we can like try out now especially like with being able to switch in legendaries so i'm excited i'm, I'm very excited for this um hopefully hopefully it's going to be good it's going to bring back a lot of people it's going to make mythic dungeons really good um but yeah leave a comment and a message down below what what you guys think i'm excited for this i'm just really excited for uh being able to change between the covenants and testing everything out that's my 9.1.5 um i'm excited survival hunter uh, gangs all rise up there's a lot of survival hunters out there now um so yeah if i'm excited hopefully you guys are excited yeah i got i'll see you all very shortly until then catch you